was fortunate to get involved in the field in 1985. Mm -hmm. I did my fellowship training in reproductive endocrinology and infertility at the Howard and Georgiana Jones uh, Institute in Norfolk, Virginia. And they're like the, the grandmother and grandfather of IVF in this country. They gave birth to IVF in this they country. They gave birth to IVF. And many people don't, don't remember that. As, as they don't remember why there is such a high, why high order multiple birth rate became a problem in this country. There's a lot of history that people don't remember. Well, before Georgiana Jones, IVF was performed on a woman during her natural ovulation. She wasn't even given any hormone treatment. And a laparoscopy was performed, hoping to capture that one egg that she was ovulating. Wow. Georgiana Jones, my mentor, started for the first time administering hormones to make a woman ovulate multiple eggs to increase the chance that we would not only capture some eggs, but we might increase the chance that some of the eggs might fertilize and result in a pregnancy. And that greatly improved uh, pregnancy rates. So that by the time I started with them in 1985, people were traveling from all over the world to come to ha have their IVF in Norfolk, Virginia, because we had the best success rate of anywhere. It was 15%, 1-5%. Wow. Yep. That was the best success anywhere in the world. And that was with putting six embryos back. Six embryos. Six so putting embryos in, back. So, and that's what people don't understand, is that back in the day, it was normal to put six embryos back. And then I think what happened was the technology got caught up pretty quickly. And those six embryos all of a sudden started, instead of turning into one baby or no baby, all of a sudden those six embryos started to turn into a litter, right? Well, it's incredible because some of these patients would, would fail to get pregnant one, two, three, four times. The fifth time they'd come through and they'd have triplets, quadruplets, right. and there was almost no predicting. Right. And that's in fact exactly what happened with this patient of mine who uh, had tried IVF twice before, then went through, had six embryos put back, and developed quadruplets. 